Jesus, the Son of God. In the book of Mark chapter 1, the writer begins his account by saying, the beginning of the gospel about Jesus Christ, the Son of God. This is interesting because right away, Mark sets forth a claim that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God. He presents Jesus as the servant of God, a man of action whose ministry transformed people's lives by his teaching and by the miracles that he did. And would you believe it? He is still transforming people's lives even to this day. Granted, there are people who would dismiss Jesus as the Son of God. They say he was just a, a man uh, who was a good moral teacher. My guess is that uh, they've never really searched the scriptures, nor carefully examined his life, his teaching, and purpose. When John the Baptist was put in prison, he sent his disciples to confirm if Jesus was the Messiah. So they went and asked him, Are you the one who was to come, or should we expect someone else? He replied, Go back and report to John what you hear and see. The blind receive sight, the lame walk, those who have leprosy are cured, the deaf hear, the dead are raised, and the good news is preached to the poor. He said, Blessed is the man who does not fall away on account of me. Mark makes the point that John the Baptist fulfilled Isaiah's prophecy in Isaiah chapter 40, verse 3, which says, The voice of one crying in the wilderness, prepare the way of the Lord, make straight in the desert. A highway for our God. This is a big deal because John the Baptist prepared the way for the coming of the Lord. In fact, his message was that the one coming after him would be the, the Messiah whose sandals he was not worthy to untie. In his book, uh, Mere Christianity, C.S. Lewis said this, I'm trying here to prevent anyone saying the really foolish thing that people often say about him. I'm ready to accept Jesus as a great moral teacher, but I don't accept his claim to be God. That is the one thing we must not say, he said. A man who was merely a man and said the sort of things Jesus said would not be a great moral teacher. He would either be a lunatic on the level with the man who says he is a poached egg, or else he would be the devil of hell. You must make a choice, he said. Either this man was and is the Son of God, or else a madman or something worse. You can shut him up for a fool, you can spit at him and kill him as a demon, or you can fall at his feet and call him Lord and God. But let us not come with patronizing nonsense about his being a great moral teacher. He has not left that open to us. He did not intend to. And the quote. So he is either a lunatic the devil of hell or the son of man, the son of God. When he was arrested and was brought before the religious leaders, the high priest asked him, are you the Christ, the son of the blessed one? He said, yes. He admitted that he was the Messiah, the son of the living God. But to the religious leaders, that was blasphemy. And so they crucified him. They called his claims blasphemy, but he would be vindicated a few days later. My friend, his resurrection proved that he was and is the Son of God. His claims were proven right. So I say that he is indeed good news to everyone because he came to save man from the power of sin and death. He said in John 3, 16 to 17, For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. For God did not send His Son into the world to condemn the world, but to save the world through Him. Jesus said that. God bless you.